In today's video, we're gonna be doing an unboxing of the brand new TP-Link Deco X20 that just hit the market. So if you're curious to see what's inside the box, then stay tuned. What's going on guys, it's Quizzy Dog here. And like I mentioned before, today we're gonna to be doing an unboxing of this guy right here. So this is the brand new Deco X20. Again, this is from TP-Link. And this has a lot of really cool features. We will list them out later, but just kind of going over the box here, of course it does claim that it's a Wi-Fi dead zone killer. It does have TP-Link home care, which is something they've been utilizing for a little while now. It has uh, QoS support, so quality of service antivirus support, parental controls, all built into that home care, seamless roaming with one Wi-Fi name. So of course, that's the aim of the game with mesh, unlike an extender that gives you multiple names or multiple IPs. This pretty much just blankets your whole house with one Wi-Fi network to give you seamless roaming wherever you are. And then on the front here, connect over 150 devices, Fastest wi or faster Wi-Fi speeds up to 1800 megabits per second, seamless roaming again, and easy setup by the Deco app. Now, this is the three node system, and they do claim that this will cover up to 5,800 square feet, which is a ton of space. So let's see exactly what's in the box here. We're gonna open this from the side. Slide this out. And in here, I assume this opens from the bottom. There we go. So presentation wise, if I can lift this up without knocking everything out, it looks really good. It looks fantastic. So we're gonna take these guys out one by one. I do wanna go over the node. And I have to say right off the hop, these guys have some nice weight to them. So there is the node itself. So just a nice little cylinder on the bottom. It looks like we do have some heat vents. So maybe to keep it cool. And then on the back side, we do have your network ports as well as your power. Now, one thing I like about the ports being on the back side is I have used the uh, Linksys Velop and the Velop had them coming out of the bottom. And there was like a little grommet to, to pass it through and cable manage. But honestly, just having them out of the back seems so much easier so you can hot swap cables out or really do whatever you need to do. Some nice little feet so it should keep your surfaces nice and scratch free. And overall, Really nice design. I actually, I really like that a lot. So of course, you have one node, a second node, and then a third node here as well. Pretty straightforward, of course. Now, taking a look at the documentation here, if you guys can see that, it does go over what the indicator lights stand for and I'd have to plug it in. I don't see exactly where the indicator light would come from right away. My assumption is it's probably a ring based light right on the top here. Uh, but yellow is when you're of course starting up, blue is going through the setup process, green is all is well and red is has an issue. So the four step instructions to setting these guys up as dictated on the box here, download the Deco app. Now this app is different than the previous TP-Link apps. If you guys have their regular routers, I myself, I don't know if you can see it in frame, I am actually still using my uh, 5400X. It's their like premier gaming router of uh, last year. Uh, so download the Deco app, turn off your modem. Uh, this is required, uh, remove the battery if your modem has one. So typically you would have to do that just simply because a lot of older one piece modems, they may not have a bridge enabled mode. So powering them off and removing 
power completely and then powering them up with a third party router system like the Deco will allow it to bridge those together and properly obtain and assign IPs for your setup. Uh, plug in the modem and the Deco directly plug into the ethernet outlet if you don't have a modem and open the app and finish setup. So this little box here that I was sort of reading all of the instructions from, there are some power adapters in here. So we're gonna open this up. Oh, she's a little stiff. There we go. How do we go about getting in here? Oh, there we go. So flap lifts up, then this flap comes down. And of course, in here, we just have your power adapters. Now, right off the bat, I'm gonna tell you, very disappointed in the power adapter. And I get this direction. So these guys here, this is what's going to live primarily on your surface. To make this the size that it is, it can't have a power supply inside. The power supply needs to go in the actual plug itself. The issue is, it makes the plug very big. And I mean, this one isn't terrible. The one thing that I do like is at least when you plug it in, it's side assigned. So if you take a look, instead of plugging in like this, like most of them, and it's gonna take up like two or three spots, this one looks like it's slim enough that it's just gonna take up one outlet. And the cable is actually nice and thin. It's a nice flat cable, which is really nice. But I wish that this was just a straight plug, maybe even like a flush mount plug. So you could put it behind, let's say a couch or something like that. And then to have the power supply or the transformer more so like a laptop in the actual cable itself. I get that some people will like it this way. I would prefer it the other way personally. And that's pretty much it for what's in the box itself. I'm just gonna put this guy in here. And I guess we'll talk a little bit as well about some of the premier features that the Deco system of this year actually come with because there are quite a few. Of course, we talked a little bit before about the quality of service and their parental controls. Those are all really nice features. I actually use those in my home on my current router by TP-Link and it's very easy to go in and either assign restrictions for the type of content that let's say a certain IP address can watch. So my daughter has a laptop, an iPhone and an iPad, she's 10. So sometimes I need to set a, um, a restriction on either the content or specifically just turn the internet off if maybe she's going through a period of just needing a break or, or maybe on like a little bit of a grounding or a timeout. It's nice to just be able to shut those off, but still let her keep the actual hardware as a reminder of, hey, you can't use the internet on these. You should probably smarten up. Um, other than that, the big thing with these guys here, as you can see right on the box, is your Wi-Fi 6. Now, Wi-Fi 6 is still fairly new. Not a lot of technology has Wi-Fi 6. And the reason why I'm actually just unboxing this right now and I'm not going through a full setup is I don't have anything Wi-Fi 6 to test at the moment. I have a couple of laptops coming in from MSI that do have it. So I wanna do a speed and connectivity comparison between my current router, and I'm just gonna leave that set up, and then hook up again something like this with Wi-Fi 6 and see if there's a, a tangible difference. And as we move forward with technology, we will see Wi-Fi 6 be implemented in a more uh, mobile devices, things like tablets, cell phones, um, maybe even smart TVs, different things like that. And there are a lot of really good advantages. Um, there's not really much else that I can tell you guys about kind of the, the units itself. Again, it's gonna say minimized Wi-Fi interference, a lot of different things like that. That's because of Wi-Fi 6, so it actually operates on different channels. Um, I will put all the details in the video description for you guys to learn more about all of the features. I did look at them. There is way more than I'm even comfortable explaining, but it sounds like all really good, really tangible stuff. 
Um, the ports that are on these are gigabit ports as well. So you will have the ability to either use it as an inlet port to go from, let's say, your LAN 1 on your modem and act as a WAN port to accept the connectivity. And then you can use the other one, or if you're using different nodes, then you can use those as sort of gigabit out ports. So for me personally, my office is still being set up. I have my PS4 upstairs and the Wi-Fi isn't the greatest. Um, it's not bad. I mean, the PlayStation networks aren't really that great or nothing to write home about in themselves. But when I'm downloading content, I'm getting maybe 200 megabits per second on the Wi-Fi. So I'm planning on putting a node actually right beside my entertainment center. And because that node will have two active um, outgoing gigabit ports, because it's not used as the, the inlet, which is gonna be down here beside my modem, I will be hooking up my smart TV and my PS4 to see if that's going to better optimize the speeds, having them come directly wired than utilizing the Wi-Fi card that really, when it comes to smart electronics, unless it's like a flagship phone or something extremely expensive, I find Wi-Fi chips are really not the best in a lot of electronics. So having something that is kind of the cream of the crop and then wired out of that should give me much better results. Um, but that's really about it. This was just a quick unboxing, a little bit of an overview, a little bit of an on off the cuff discussion about the Deco X20. And I'm very excited to use these. Again, these are new to the market. They do offer a two year warranty as well, which is something that I really like when network companies do, because for me, I wanna set my network up once and use it for the next foreseeable future. I don't wanna have to rebuy or replace things. So having somebody that guarantees their product for as long as TP-Link does, just means that the, the quality and the pride is certainly there. Um, stay tuned in the future, like, subscribe, and turn on notifications for when my time comes to actually set this up. I will be taking you guys along for that ride in the setup process and then a little bit of testing as well. Again, once my other equipment comes in that's Wi-Fi 6 capable and links if you guys are interested for up-to-date pricing and availability on this mesh system will again be in the video description below. So if you liked this video, go ahead and give it a like. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification button bell while you're down there. Uh, I do also have a playlist that I will link at the end of this video where we do run monthly giveaways. So if you like free stuff, I haven't met anybody who really doesn't, then make sure that you stay tuned to learn what I'm giving away month over month and for your chances to learn more about how to enter. Until my next video, my name is Quasi Dog. You guys have been awesome, and we'll catch you all in my next one. Take care.